Finding the least common denominator is very important when you're trying to do something like add two fractions that don't have the same denominator. Um, in order to add fractions with unlike denominators, they have to have the same number in the bottom. Um, so what you can do is you can change those numbers in the bottom, but also change the number in the top to keep the fractions equivalent. Now, we're not going to go all into adding and subtracting fractions today, but we are going to talk a little bit about how to find those common denominators. So the first thing you want to know is what are the denominators? So I listed them below. I listed 5, and then I listed 9 right below it. Um, now what we're going to do is we're going to skip count these numbers, meaning count by 5s, 5, 10, 15, 20, and then we'll count by 9s, 9, 18, 27, 36, so on and so forth, and we'll list their numbers here. What we're actually trying to find is something called the least common multiple, which looks a lot like this, which is the least common denominator. Uh, when talking about fractions, those two things are the exact same thing. Our goal is to find the least common multiple of these two numbers. And by finding the multiple, we're going to do that by listing their skip counting multiples. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, and I'll end with 50 for now. Now, I can always list more if we don't have any in common, but let's just see uh, how we are so far. So we have 9, 18, 27, 36, 45, and then I can actually stop right there because 5 has a multiple of 45. 9 also has a multiple of 45. I don't believe 9, 18, 27, or 36. I don't believe any of those are multiples of 5 by checking these numbers right here. Um, but the first common multiple, or the least common multiple between the two, is 45. So to find the least common denominator, we just did that by finding the least common multiple, which is 45.